Today, I'm checking out this power station. Let's take it out of the box and see how this thing works. So when you take this out of the box, you're gonna get the power station, of course. It comes with a manual. I love their manuals. There is this wall plug for the charger, and there is this DC accessory port plug. And this is basically, you know, if you're going to, sorry, not there. If you're going to use like a 12 volt accessory plug that needs to go into something, you can just put this in the DC out, plug in your 12 volt accessory into this port, and now you're able to power that. And you have this power plug here where you can plug it into the DC in, and it's gonna power it and charge it up. But I don't know about you, but I just love these little, you know, throw in your backpack or toss into the car type of power stations because they give you so many options. This one's pretty cool with this little sliding door. It's got two USB-C ports here. This one has an output of 18 watts. This one has an in and out of 27 watts. And this is a USB-A, also a USB-A. Both of these say 18 watts. So easily able to charge your cell phone, things like that, small, you know, tablets, whatever that you need to charge off of that. Then on this side, again, you've got your DC in and out. It's got a little arrow here to point that there's DC stuff in the front. You have a light here. So click and hold the light button. And now you have an LED light. You press it again, it gets brighter. Press it again, it gets even brighter. All right, so now it's got a blink. Now it goes back to dim. So if I want to turn it off, I could just press and hold. And now that's off. And a little handle here on the top. Oh, that's cool. So it lets you use the handle from this side or you come over here and pull it. And now you have a little handle from this side. So multi-use handle, nothing here on the back, but here is your AC power outlet also. So this is cool. You have an inverter output here. It does a hundred Watts at 110 volts. It is 60 Hertz. It's got a fan right here. So that way, you know, it can cool itself down when it needs to. So let me go ahead and turn this AC side on. Shows you the status of your battery. So it's got two out of five circles here to let you know you're probably at about, what is that, 40%. If I already turned the AC on, you just plug in your power source here, like your laptop or something like that, and you're going to be able to charge it. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, charge it up all the way, and run some things off of it and just make sure that everything... Uh, checks out on all of the different wattages that it says it will do and see how well this little thing works. When you do plug this in and it's charging, it shows you a charging status there on the front. So as you can see, it's showing that it's charging at that 40% bar there. So I have fully charged this little guy up actually a few times now because we went out of town over the weekend and I brought this with me in my backpack. I was able to charge my laptop, camera, tablet, headphones, I mean, basically everything that I would normally use with me on a daily basis was able to charge all of them off of this one device and it still had power left over. So the 92 watt hours on this thing is actually a pretty good amount of power. Uh, this laptop, I think is about 50 watt hours. This tablet, I think was almost 20. Um, I'm not sure what the other little ones were, but you know, it was able to do exactly what I needed it to do. And then I get home, plug it in and charge it right back up. So again, you plug the DC ports here. It can handle four of these DC ports plugged in all at the same time, charges everything at the same time. And then on this side, you have, you know, the AC port, turn that on, turns the inverter on for the AC. And now it's charging the laptop. Of course, it's got these other features here. And if I wanted to plug in, let's say, an accessory item from this, I'd be able to do it. I haven't really used this because I don't have too many of these accessory you know, items that use this 12 volt plug, but it's there if you need it. And that's it. I mean, it's been a great little device, handled everything I needed to do, nice and quiet. Man, I really do like it. I'm impressed by the power that this little thing has. So I have everything right now plugged in. And as you can hear, that's the only noise you hear is that little fan that kicks on on the side. So it's very quiet, will not disturb you while you're on your laptop or anything like that. Another cool thing is this can be charged while you're pulling power out of it. So, so let's say you have one wall plug and that's it. You can plug in this into the device, charge the device while you're also charging everything off of it. And you know it lets you basically do two-way power. You can put power in and pull power out at the same time. This thing still handles it.
So it says it has grade A batteries in that, which is very important because some of the lithium batteries aren't, you know, reusable as much as, let's say, the grade A batteries. So this thing can be charged and discharged thousands of times with losing very little of its capacity over time. And then you throw in the fact that it's just so small and compact. That's what I really like about this is the fact that I can actually just stick this in my backpack. It's not very big. You know, it doesn't take much thought to just toss this in the bag or bring this with you when you're camping or anything like that. To have that extra peace of mind that you have this ability to recharge all of this if you need to. So I do really like this little product and it's definitely going to be going with me. I hope this review was helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching and y'all take care.